My dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet and bless you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. On this day, March 18, it is a great pleasure to meet you through this auspicious message. May the Lord bless you all. Take with me from the book of I Samuel 2 8, he raises the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. And he sets them among princes and makes them inherit the throne of glory. My dear brothers and sisters, God found me. I came from Kanyakumari to Chennai empty handed. He led me. He found me in the midst of an ash heap. He found me in a low state. He found me in my affliction. He found me while I was washing the dishes and cleaning the tables and the waste materials. After which, he led me by himself. He exalted me. He has now made me sit in the midst of kings and royal people. He sees me decorated and admired me. This is the most wonderful deed of the Lord. A loving deed of the Lord. Whenever I come across this verse, I remember how the Lord exalted me. I always thank the Lord for his kindness. My dear children of God, the Lord, who did for me, will he not do for you? God lifted David from the ash heap and exalted him as the king of Israel. God picked up Joseph from jail and made him the governor of Egypt. God, who picked me up from cleaning the waste materials from hotel tables, made me a blessing to many people. It shows that you will be exalted. If you are struggling a lot, that means that your betterment is near at hand. How much you are broken and how much you are being stamped by others, to that extent, God will let you reach the heights you could never ever imagine. That is the meaning. Therefore, don't worry. Hereafter, God will change your tears and your difficulties, make you sit among kings and princes, and admire you. In your field, you will be the achiever. Dear Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this day of rejoicing. The Lord raises the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap, and sets them among princes and makes them inherit the throne of glory. You make them sit among princes, and you admire their beauty. Those watching this program are saying, Lord, I am in the ashes, I have been afflicted. I am a very young man. And as you are crying, God is lifting you up today and making you sit with kings, and you admire them for this. We are thankful. Lord, we thank you for remembering them. Lord, we thank you for keeping your eyes on such afflicted children. We thank you for your eyes that fell on these poor children. Lord, we thank you for lifting them up from their fallen state and making them sit with kings and princes. Lord, lift them up to a great height, and we thank you, Lord, for decorating them with the inheritance of Jacob. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I greet and bless you all, my dearly cherished brothers and sisters in Christ. It is a joy to meet you with this auspicious message on this auspicious day, March 18. God's blessings be upon you all. I Samuel 2.8, He raises the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap is the passage I want to bring with you. And he makes them inherit the seat of splendor and places them among royalty. God found me, my dear brothers and sisters. I had nothing when I left Kanyakumari for Chennai. He guided me. He discovered me amidst a pile of ash. I was depressed when he discovered me. He located me. In my suffering. While I was cleaning the tables, the waste items, and the dishes, he came across me. Then he led me all by himself. He elevated me. I am now seated among kings and other royal people because of him. I am ornamented, and he thinks I'm great. This is the Lord's most magnificent deed. An act of love from the Lord. This scripture often makes me think of how the Lord uplifted me. I give thanks to God for his kindness all the time. The Lord, who provided for me, would not provide for you as well, my lovely children of God. David was raised from the ashes and anointed king of Israel by God. God released Joseph from prison and appointed him Egypt's governor. God, who found me while I was sweeping the leftovers from hotel tables, has blessed me with a large number of individuals. It implies that you will be elevated. If you are having a lot of difficulty, 
improvement is almost here. God will enable you to achieve heights beyond your wildest dreams, regardless of how shattered and branded you are by others. That's what it means. Thus, don't be concerned. God will transform your tears and your struggles in the afterlife, seating you among kings and princes and making them adore you. You will be the best in your field. We are grateful to you, Lord. We are grateful for this joyous day. The needy are raised from the ash heap, and the impoverished are raised from the dust by the Lord, and makes them inherit the seat of glory and places them among royalty. You appreciate their attractiveness and force them to sit among princes. Lord, I am in the ashes, I'm a rather young guy. And while you grieve, God is raising you up and seating you among kings today, and you are in awe of them for it. We express our gratitude. We are grateful that you kept them in mind, Lord. We are grateful that you looked at these underprivileged kids. Lord, elevate them to great heights, Lord, and we give you thanks for adorning them with Jacob's inheritance. We ask in the name of Jesus. Indeed.